Hey all, Matt Epworth here. And I get a lot of questions about how to be able to record back into your Apollo something that's playing from your computer. Kind of like a loopback, but not necessarily that type of situation. Like maybe you want to record from another application or your browser and record it into your DAW. We can do that. And it's really easy to do, but first we need to set up a few things. Once it's set up, it's really simple. So what we're gonna use are our virtuals for our playback return from our computer audio. And so I'm gonna use virtual one and two right here. And I've got these linked and my computer audio is gonna play back through these channels. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up. So first in Apollo, we're going to go into settings and we're going to make sure that in our IL matrix, that we have our outputs for virtuals one and two or whatever virtuals you wanna use available. But we also need to make sure we have them mapped as inputs. If we don't have them mapped as inputs, then we're not gonna be able to record them back into our DAW. They're gonna work for hearing audio, but not recording audio. So we're gonna go into our audio MIDI setup. And just gonna go over here to Apollo we can see it's Apollo. We want to be on the output tab. And then we're going to scroll down, make sure we can see the virtuals, which we can. And then we need to go to configure speakers. So I'm going to click on that. And you see how I've got assigned virtual one for my left and virtual two for my right? That's exactly what you need to do. That way, any sound you play on your computer is going to play through your Apollo virtual channels. So for example, if I play, say, a drum loop, it's playing through my virtual channels in my Apollo. And I can even add EQ and compression, anything like that to whatever's playing. So if I want to go in and add some kind of tweak to whatever's playing back so I can have it a more finished sound, I can do that. I can do that with equalization or anything that I want. So if I want to get crazy and roll off all my highs and lows and peg my mids, I can do that and then my drum loop will be affected by that. As you can hear. So now in my DAW, I need to make sure that that's set up to allow me to record. So I'm just going to launch Pro Tools. I'm going to make sure I turn off that plugin that I was monitoring before. So like I mentioned, this will work from any program you're playing on your computer, any sort of computer playback from any sort of media or anything like that, or anything that you want to record from a browser. So we have basically three steps. We make sure that we have our output set to virtuals one and two in audio MIDI setup. We make sure that we have Apollo console routed for virtual one and two, and then we make sure that we have our DAW set up. So just minimize console. Just gonna do a new session. So I'm just gonna make a session called Apollo record back. Okay, so now I have my Pro Tools. And in Pro Tools, we need to make sure that our audio I.O. matches what our Apollo is set to, and it should. But I've got my virtual one in here, and that's an output. That's the one that's gonna go out from computer playback. And then on my input side, I need to be able to get that back in. So I'm gonna come over and make sure that I have an input set up for virtual one and two. So I'm just gonna make a new track. I'm gonna do stereo create it. I'm going to set my input to be virtual one and two. I'm going to make sure a little latency monitoring's on. Okay, it is. I'm going to call this computer playback. So this is whatever my computer's playing. I'm going to record enable that. Just change that to quick punch for simplicity. And I'm just going to record. I'm just going to play this little file on my desktop.
And you can see that little file right there is recording. And it's that simple. Super, super simple. And that's really it. So you can use this to record any type of source that you need to back into your Apollo by means of that virtual channel, including any processing. And if you want the processing, you would just enable this like normal. And that processing is gonna record. Otherwise it'll record dry, but you'd hear the processing. So super simple. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Matt Hepworth, see you next time.